Give me 1,000 with y'all. I'm, um, told y'all, man, y'all in on the journey. So, um, this moment right now, um, like, I'm, um, going back and forth from my, from my heart to my, my, my mind and shit. Uh, so this, this process ain't easy at all, man. When you really, when you really trying to find yourself, your purpose in this world and stuff like that or whatever, heal. Really just, when I mean, you just want better for yourself, different. It's a lot of stuff you got to let go. It's just a lot, it's a lot of stuff I had to let go. And there's a lot of stuff I had to believe because I wasn't believing stuff for a long time. About my family, my, you know, moms, aunties, granny, you know, pops, brothers. And it's like, uh, it's real, it's definitely heartbreaking for real when you got to let go of the ones that you truly love. Like, you, I truly love them, but they didn't, they ain't love me. And they kind of, they sabotage me in time, any chance they get, you know. I don't know if my mom did it on intentional, but it's a lot of stuff she did intentional, you know what I'm saying. I, every, I, I know everybody broken, uh, like literally a lot, of, a lot of people in the world are broken, but so they do stuff um, unintentional, but intentional at the same time. You get what I'm saying? So... Even just knowing that, I just had to let people go. So, I had to let my pretty much my whole family go. Honestly, I just I had to let everybody go in my life. Everybody. I, I mean, I'm already a person that don't kind of. I'm already a loner, so I didn't have that many people, which is why I chose family over anything. Is I just don't like. It ain't that I don't like meeting new people. I just I'm I'm uh quality over quantity. So if I try, I, I always try to look for connections in, in the world. I'm trying to connect with you. I ain't trying to be like have a whole bunch of people, you know. But um, so I let everybody in my life go. So I was just driving. I just pulled over, just like thinking, like, damn, man, like maybe I should call my grand cause she be calling me. <laughs> she be calling me, and I just be letting the phone be like, nah, I ain't, I ain't even messing with that, but. I just thought about it like, man, maybe I should go get us some food. Like, you know, just the old stuff I used to do. But then I, I I can't do that though right now, especially right now while I'm going through the healing phase. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't go, I can't do that right now. Maybe one day I'll be able to be around all the people that break my heart. But right now, I don't, I don't need to be around it. I don't want to get sucked back into it because the thing is, everybody was so comfortable saying what they wanted to say about me. To my face, you know, just they ain't care. But if it hurt my feelings, and I guess in their eyes, I ain't have feelings. My family, you know what I'm saying? They want to be like, oh, I love you. I just don't like your lifestyle, you know, because I'm a lesbian and stuff. So, like, I'm out here, doing, like, they don't like my lifestyle. Like, I'm out here doing drugs or something. That, that's what they that's that's what they consider my lifestyle. You know, they put it in the category of, you know what I'm saying? They, and that's what they... I always saying so anyway uh, pretty much all i heard i love you but and i hate you at the same time you know that's pretty much what they were saying so um unconditional love is unconditional love don't ever let nobody tell y'all they love you and then say what they don't like about you at the same time you know what i'm saying i can see if you really out here doing drugs you know what i'm saying some people care about your drinking got really some addictions like that um but if it comes to your lifestyle and, and you ain't hurt nobody don't let nobody say oh, I don't like your lifestyle because because that's not what I believe in. You know, everybody got their sins. Everybody want to focus in on that one sin. Sometimes they, they they come out they always focus in on my one sin of me being a lesbian. Of sin to them. That's not even a sin to me, but a sin to them that they they forgot about all they sin. They forgot they was having sex without marriage and they forgot they was drinking and had their addictions and having babies out of wedlock, cheating all this other stuff that lying you know what i'm saying manipulating me let them manipulate just you know what i'm saying like my sin was the biggest one in they ass and they made me hate myself like i tried to kill myself and everything you know what i'm saying so i, I hated being gay i hated being a lesbian like i used to just be like praying like just take it away I don't, if this is what everybody hate me for like just take it away but 
You know what I'm saying? It, it, ain't, it ain't go like that. I ain't, it ain't go like that. But anyway, I just said let everybody go. So uh, it, it's hard, you know. I'll be thinking about they, they little pitiful face. If they really did think I needed them, but I know in reality, I always knew that they really needed me. It was my energy. I was always unconditional love. You know what I'm saying? I took I took all that verbal abuse, or physical abuse, too. And I ain't say nothing, you know what I'm saying? I always thought about their feelings before I said something. So now I'm speaking my truth. You know what I'm saying? I've been telling the truth and everything. I was trying to learn how to be around around my family and, and deal with them. And then one day, I and they were still draining me. So uh, now it's like, um, no bad phone ring. But then one day I woke up and, you know, not woke up like I woke up, but like woke up like awake and said, I don't even got to deal with them. Like, I ain't got to figure out how to deal with them draining me. I don't have to deal with them. And that's when uh, that serenity prayer came in my head, like, Give me the, the end of that prayer. Give me the wisdom to know the difference. Give me the wisdom to know the difference of the things I can change and the things I cannot. That's really one thing I can change. I don't even have to deal with people, family or not. But anyway, this is one of the moments I'm in my head, so just letting y'all know.